Hello from the attic. This video is about my ERV and a comment that I got on another video. If you're new here, we built a house in 2018. We used spray foam insulation, as you can see. The foam sealed up our house too tight, caused a bunch of problems because of lack of ventilation and humidity. So we put in this ERV, uh, Energy Recovery Ventilator. It has fixed a lot of our problems. The video that I got the comment on was called Why My ERV Has Its Own Duct Work. Well, when I did this install, I put it in myself and I did not tie it onto my existing HVAC. There's my heating and air right there. So when I put in the ERV, it has all of its own duct work. You can see some of it running up there. I made a video about why I chose to do that. And one of the main reasons is because I did not want to have to run my HVAC unit every time the ERV was on. So this commenter actually uh, kind of opened my mind up to something that I guess I wasn't thinking about. Okay, so I was basically thinking that if you put the ERV, hook it into the existing ductwork, then this unit had to be running to help move the air around. When I was reading the instructions for installing this thing, I, there's a control panel right here and you can wire it over here to your blower motor so that every time the ERV comes on, this blower comes on, you know, if the HVAC isn't already running. That way it will help move the air through all of the duct work around the house. So this person left a comment saying that you can just tie it into the existing ductwork. You don't have to use the HVAC unit to help move the air around. Now, I really didn't think about that before. So I just kind of, I want to respond to this comment and kind of walk through it. This ERV brings in fresh air into the house and it removes contaminated stale air out of the house. Up here, it pulls in the fresh air and it crosses, goes through here, and then it runs up some ductwork and is pushed out into the house in different places. So instead of running all this ductwork, I could have tied this right here, right up here to this main trunk somewhere. So when the ERV is pulling in air, it could use the existing ductwork to uh, push the air out into the house. So then the motor would not necessarily have to run. And right here on the bottom, this is where the ERV removes air from the house. It pulls it out and pushes it outside the house there. So I have more duct work. It's coming it, up there. It goes to a bathroom upstairs and right here it comes around. It hits my laundry room and the kitchen. So it's pulling air out of these areas out of the house. Well, what I could do is come over here. This is uh, the return. My living room is down there. So I could have just tied into this line here and you know, bring bring some duct work from here over here and tie it into the top up here. Now that way I would not have to run any of my own duct work. So I see the idea. I, I kind of get the point of that. And I spent about a thousand dollars on this duct work when I put the ERV in. This whole thing cost me like three thousand dollars for the whole project. The ductwork alone was around $1,000 for ductwork and fittings and a few other things. I like the idea of saving $1,000 on this install. And also, it took me about two months to install all this ductwork in the ERV because I was doing it an hour here and an hour there whenever I had a free minute after work. So I like the idea of using existing ductwork, but... I have some concerns, some thoughts about it. 
for one, this blower motor is very large and it has no problem pushing air, enough airflow through all the duct work to supply the house. This ERV has two very small DC motors. Now that's good because it does not use very much electricity. So if this blower motor is not running and this ERV is using all of the duct work, these large ducts up here, is this ERV, this, these tiny little DC motors, is it going to be able to move enough air through all this duct work? Another issue I have with tying it into the existing duct work, and I talked about this in the other video that I made, I have two HVAC units. I have a two-story house. This is the main floor, and that is the upstairs. So if I didn't run its own duct work, would I install this one ERV? Would I have to tie it into both of the duct systems, the duct work for both of these units? And there's a lot of duct work in this house. So that's even more uh, duct work that this thing is trying to push airflow through. This unit here is 150 CFM, which I believe is the correct size for my house. But I don't think that this is powerful enough to push air through both of these systems uh, if these are turned off. Something else to think about, uh, the person actually commented this. I covered it in my other video. Uh, the only problem with tying it into existing ductwork is that you can't target where to remove stale air. That's true. I was pretty picky about where I wanted to remove the air out of. I've got the ERV hooked onto my laundry, my kitchen, and two bathrooms that have a shower. And that's where it's pulling all of the air from. So if you're not picky about where you're pulling the air out of, then I think hooking it onto an existing system is okay. Maybe a good idea that I could have tried would be use the existing ductwork for the supply where it is pushing fresh air into the house. But the return where it's pulling air out of the house, I could have run that uh, independent ductwork for that. So then I'm still saving money. I'd probably save at least $500 or more on ductwork and I'd save a bunch of labor, but then I'm still able to pull it from the laundry and the kitchen down there. And one of those ducts up there, that goes up to a bathroom up there. And, uh, you know, that's my master bath there. So maybe you want to pull it from specific areas. You can put in the return where it's pulling air out of the house from certain areas. But then when it pushes air into the house, the fresh air, I could just hook that right up here, use existing duct work. My surprising thought of the day is if I ever built another house and I have to use an ERV again and the house had one HVAC unit, so maybe it's like a ranch house or a one-story house on a slab or a crawl space, as long as it had one HVAC unit, I would go ahead and just tie the ERV into the HVAC ductwork and just see what happens. That would save a lot of installation time, a lot of, uh, it would save a lot of money. You know, the worst case scenario, you just have to add ductwork later. If it's not helping with your ventilation and your humidity, you just go in later and run your own ductwork. But you could potentially save $1,000 or more, depending on the size of your house. I've been a pretty strong proponent of running independent ductwork, but you know, this comment has got me thinking uh, it's not a bad idea to at least try it. It wouldn't have taken me two months to install this thing. I probably could have done it like in a weekend. Um, that was the thing that took me the longest was running all the ductwork. Now, of course, my house has two units, two HVAC units. So if I built another house with two or three HVAC units, then, I mean, what do you do? 
Do you buy two ERVs and put one on each unit? Some of my spray foam and ERV videos are getting a lot of hate, but I'm getting a lot of great comments too, and that is why I keep them up and keep posting because it, it helps me learn, and I think other people are learning from it too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. We'll see you next time.